Good morning, class, and welcome to number 10 of the Get Good Academy. Today, we are going to be talking about how to test new cards. So this is coming out and being recorded the day that Fusion Strike is going to drop a little before Fusion Strike is dropped. So hopefully it doesn't get too buried in the YouTube algorithm. You aren't actually finding this way later, but this is applicable to every single set. And I think it's kind of a big deal for anyone like me going to Salt Lake City. Uh, that's going to be the first major tournament with V Star legal. I don't know what that set's called, but it's really important to know how to actually test out these new decks. And you may be saying, Mello, why are we doing this? You know, I know how to test all that good stuff. You had that in your last video. It's a little different than general testing. So we're going to talk about how to maximize your testing when a new set comes out. This is going to be one of those classes, you know, sometimes you walk into class and it turns out there was a class, there was a test last time and everyone did really bad on the test and the teacher just lectures you on how poorly the class did. It's kind of one of those, except instead of the class doing poorly, it's content creation as a whole does a really bad job of showing how to test out new sets. And this is no shade at anyone because the fact is content creation is all about what do people want to watch? And people want to watch what turns out to be suboptimal testing most of the time. So we're talking about how you should be doing it. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch that stuff because I watch it too. It's fun to watch the new cards, but it is definitely suboptimal and definitely something that you should spend a bit of time on your own doing. So how to test the new cards when they come out, whether it's for a big tournament, if it's on PTCGO, whatever. Just keep these first two bullet points in mind. Your new list sucks. I promise you, every single new list of a new archetype is unrefined and relatively bad. The odds that you have found the near perfect 60 by net decking someone from Japan or just theory moning it a bit is ridiculously low. You might have a good list. It might be close ish, but it definitely is not optimal. This is really important because old lists stuff that's been around for in this case even only one format jolteon vmax leafeon vmax dragapult vmax these lists are refined people have put a lot of time into them they have been successful these are pretty well put together lists with that said when you test out new decks and you want to see what is mu vmax's power level you want to see oh what is inteleon vmax how good are these decks actually one of the best things you can do and really the only thing you should do is test against known archetypes and lists do not smash the new decks together and see what happens like i said there's something a lot of content creation do this and it makes sense that's what people want to watch you get to watch two new decks instead of one new deck if you're preparing for a regional a league cup a ic worlds anything like that really keep in mind that doesn't help you smashing the new decks together is just two unrefined lists going against each other a, you're unlikely to play against just new stuff. You go to a regional for, you know, Fusion Strike, doesn't exist, but if it did exist, yes, you're going to play against Mew VMAX, yeah, you're probably going to play against Inteleon, but you're going to play a lot of stuff that is neither of those two. So you need to test against these refined lists, and what that's going to do is going to help you decide how good is this deck actually. You're testing it against most of the meta now, Urshifu, Single Strike, etc., and you're testing it against lists that are refined, which will help you refine your list. And that goes into bullet point number four. Be sure to constantly make changes as you're testing. Again, your list sucks. My list sucks. The one that every content creator puts out sucks. The one Tord makes initially probably sucks. You can ask him, how many changes do you make to list one set comes out? And he will tell you it is not the same list. There are differences. You have to play it against these known, consistent, established, powerful archetypes. And as you're playing it, you're like, oh, I need more consistency. Oh, I need less consistency and more text for this matchup because this matchup turns out to suck. You know, oh, I'm setting up too much. My hand has too many dead cards in it. Maybe I should get rid of some of these. You know, all of these things. So you need to consistently make changes, consistently be like, oh, I got unlucky. No, we've talked before about luck. You cannot blame luck. If you have a bad list of a new archetype, sometimes you have to be like, you know, it hasn't drawn well for the last couple games. I need to make significant changes or maybe I need to completely scrap this idea because it sucks. It happens. It's happened to me before my very first world. The only worlds I've competed in, to be fair, but it was 2019 post rotation. They decided to rotate before worlds. We had to test everything. I had so many ideas and I spent way too much time on a lot of them that were just relatively bad. Fairy Mewtwo, I spent a lot of time on Fairy Mewtwo. That deck sucked. 
but I kept trying to make it better. And at a certain point, you also have to cut your losses and say, you know what, maybe my new archetype just isn't it. Testing against the refined list, which at that point were like Blacephalon GX and Picaram and Malamar. They're pretty well known, even going into post rotation. It was like, oh, this just isn't powerful enough. When I tested against my friend, who was also testing his new stuff, Fairy Mewtwo looked so good. The problem is, we we're both testing relatively bad archetypes and bad lists of some, but turned out to be decent archetypes. So be sure, consistently make changes, test against the known stuff. Now, if you want to see the new cards, it's a short channel today, short episode today, short class today. But you know what? I'm going to let you out a little early. If you want to see the new cards, be sure to sub to the channel. Of course, we'll have uh, for sure some UV Max and Inteleon V Max and probably some other stuff in there. But yeah, we'll do some of that stuff in the upcoming weeks. Be sure to check out my Twitch as well while I'll be doing it live. Friday the 12th is the first day I will be streaming Fusion Strike. I'm going to try to get all of my Mute V Max stuff. So hopefully we can mess around with uh, Battle Pass Cramomatic Mew V Max because I legitimately think that might be good or it might not be. But like I said, be sure to consistently make changes. We'll find out for sure. But remember, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other Get Good Academy videos if you haven't. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.